Hello and welcome back to another workout video with me, Coach Chris at Empower Gyms in Bromley. Hope you're all doing okay. Um, today's workout is going to be using some weights. Um, we've noticed that a lot of you have managed to get hold of a couple of pairs of dumbbells or maybe you already had some weights at home. Um, so that is going to be the theme of today's workout is we're going to run through with some dumbbells and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. If at home you don't have a pair of dumbbells, anything with a reasonable amount of weight that you can comfortably hold would be perfect. Um, whether that's like a milk bottle filled with water, that'd be perfect. One tin of beans probably isn't quite heavy enough, um, but if you can put a few into a carrier bag and kind of wrap the carrier bag into your hands, that'll also work perfectly. First point of call is to get warmed up. So hopefully you've already cleared a little bit of space at home um, and we're gonna primarily focus on getting your hips and shoulders warmed up to begin with. So if we are ready, first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take a lie down on your side. Just watch first. So we're gonna lie on the side, knees up and feet forwards. Head relaxed on the ground and we're going to bring your top hand, so hands are together, top hand is going to come in a semicircle as close as possible to the floor, so like drawing a circle with your hand, and then back the way you came, and we're going to do that five times on each side. So if you want to begin that now, have a lie on your side, hands together, and we're going to go five times against the floor. Go ahead. So all the way around until your arms are straight across and then back to the beginning and four more times. No major rush on these. Try and keep your knees together all the way through this one, please. So hold your knees together and this is going to get a nice bit of rotation through your back but also plenty of movement through your shoulders as well. And one more, that should be four. So just one more time, please. And swap over onto the other side. So same thing on the other side. Switch yourself over. Take a line on the other side. Knees up quite high, feet forward. They act as a counterbalance. Knees stay together. And around we go five more times on this second side. One, no major rush, but you don't need to move too slowly either. There's a nice middle ground to be found here. So that's three, got two more to do, hopefully two more. So don't rush it, but as you can see, not moving too quickly, there's four. And go for one more, please. Lovely, and relax. And then we're going to get hips moving with a little stretch. Um, and then we'll practice each exercise. That will be our kind of specific warm up for the workout. And then we'll get started. So, onto your hands and knees. And what you want to do is bring your foot forwards. So, go almost into a lunge position. And then hands down the inside, hips forward, shoulders back, and chest. And we're going to hold this one still for a reasonable amount of time and then we're going to switch sides and we're going to do that twice so we're doing two times on each side so either go back to your knees or bring your leg back up to you and then the same thing onto the other side go ahead again push your hips forward into the stretch so don't let your bottom stick out push your hips forward shoulders back and think chest out for good posture and back to the middle, and we're going to go first side, second time. Go ahead. Drop those hips into the stretch. Shoulders back, push your chest up. So try and get your upper back nice and flat. You don't want to be hunched over. Upper back as flat as you can. Back to the middle, and second side, second time. And go ahead. Into that lunge. Hands down, both on the inside of that foot. Keep thinking shoulders back, chest down, think about your posture. Don't necessarily need to look ahead, but 
It can if it's not uncomfortable on your neck. And nice and gently relax. Good. If you haven't done so already, you will need a bottle of water because it's getting a little bit warmer outside. And it's good to stay hydrated anyway. So if you haven't already, pause the video, go and grab some water. And if you have, well done, you're prepared. <laughs> um, we're going to run through five exercises in today's workout. And we're going to demo those all and have a practice of them all now. And then we'll get cracking properly. So I'm using two dumbbells. If you've got those at home, do the same thing. Um, if you don't, anything with a reasonable amount of weight that you can relatively comfortably hold in your hands will be perfect. Our first exercise is going to be a deadlift. So from side on, you're going to bring the weights to the front of your thighs. Keep your shoulders back and keep good posture all the time. Stick your bottom out and then let your knees bend slightly and then stand up nice and tall. So what we want to avoid here, two things. Number one, don't hunch your back like this. Do not do that. Push your hips backwards like so. And then the second thing is, try not to lean forward into it so that your weight's all on your toes. Push back and keep your heels down. And then nice and tall. So we're gonna practice those now for 30 seconds. Pick your weights up. They wanna be in front of your thighs. And let's begin. So we're going to get you warmed up. Keep your weights in front of your legs. Weight back on your heels and really stand up tall at the top. If you can, you want to pull your shoulders back, keep your core strong, and also squeeze your glutes, which are the muscles in your bottom. So when you get to the top and you stand up tall, squeeze your hips in underneath you. Enough time for one more rep, so go for one more. And relax there. Cool. Second exercise is going to be an overhead press. So you're going to bring your weights to your shoulders. Try and keep your core engaged on this one. So don't let your tummy push out. Try and hold your tummy muscles nice and strong. Weights to your shoulders and we're going to breathe out and push up like so. And then back down. Try and really get your arms straight at the top. So you don't want them sticking out to the side with a little bend. Arms are almost right next to your head and nice and straight. So when you're ready, again we're going to go just for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and begin. So push overhead and nice straight arms at the top. Don't need to rush these, especially not now because we're still just getting warmed up. So in 15 seconds we've got another 15 left to go. On this one, you'll probably feel this one relatively quickly. But I don't think very many of us have got super heavy dumbbells laying around at home. Enough for one more, so go for one more rep. Good strong push and relax. Awesome. Next exercise is going to be a squat. It's up to you whether you do this with no weights, so just body weight, whether you want to hold one like a goblet squat, like so, or you can either hold both of them together or you can pop them kind of on your shoulders. So it's up to you as to what is most comfortable. For me, I would hold two of them like a goblet, but we'll see what works for you. In your squat fundamentals, keep your feet flat at all times. They're not too wide, not too close, somewhere in the middle that's comfortable for you. Drive your knees wide, keep your heels down like so, okay? And you want to stay relatively upright. So again, like this. Try not to excessively lean over. Stay relatively upright. And we're gonna go through these for 30 seconds. Ready? Grab your weights and begin. So 30 seconds of squats. Really nice wide knees. Again, as this is just a warm up, don't need to be rushing. And take our time. Got about another 15 seconds left to go. So really nice wide knees, keep those heels planted, so heels stay nice and flat at all times. Probably enough time just for one more. Go for the last one, go for the last one, and rest. 
Cool. Our next two exercises are going to be a little bit more challenging. So we're going to do them for a fraction less time. So number one is going to be a lateral side raise, so a lateral raise. Weights by your sides. All you need to do is think about your posture, lift to the side and then back down. Like so. Doesn't need to go crazy high, as long as your arms hit um, horizontal, then happy days. Ready? These are going to be for less time, so we're just going to do 20 seconds of the warm up, because they're a bit more challenging. Three, two, one, and begin. So lift and down. Just like so. Arms don't need to be locked out. You can have a small bend in the elbow, but you don't need a massive bend like so. So just a small bend. And relax there. And then the fifth and final exercise is going to be a reverse or prone fly. So you're going to hinge over your hips like a deadlift, and then we split the weights apart, like so. Try and focus on your posture all the way through this one. This one's a more challenging one to keep your posture strong. And again, we're going to go through 20 seconds because it's a bit more challenging. Ready? Three, two, one. Over we go. And just got to split those dumbbells apart. Keep your positioning nice and low. So don't stand up tall. Stay over. And if you can, you want to try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And relax there. Good. Cool. Grab a little bit of water. And we're going to run through that circuit three times. And we'll see how we feel by the end. It should be reasonably challenging. Um, if it's too easy for you by the time we get to the end of three, do another one. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be doing three and that'll be enough for me. So our exercises are... Number one, deadlifts, which is hinging at the hip. Number two, overhead press, which as the name suggests, is a press overhead. Number three is squats, so nice wide knees, keeping the heels down. Four is a lateral raise, so lifting the weights over to your sides. And then five is a prone fly, so that means over towards your front and then splitting the weights apart and squeezing your shoulder blades. Should be reasonably challenging by the time we get to the end. We've got a good balance of some lower body and some upper body work, and we'll see how we go. Are we ready to begin our deadlifts? We're gonna go through these for 60 seconds. So a pretty reasonable period of time, and we'll see how we feel by the time we get to the end. So weights in front of your thighs, three, two, one, begin. So right the way over, up nice and tall. And you want to be squeezing your glutes at the top if you can. There's no major rush on these, but if you feel fairly familiar with them and you want to work harder, increase your tempo. Conversely, if they're not so familiar, or if you want to keep your intensity a little bit lower, then all you've got to do is to slow them down. Keep thinking about your shoulder blades and your posture all the way through you, so don't slouch, okay? We're nicely over halfway through. And really think about driving your hips backwards and squeezing and standing tall at the top. So hips back, squeezing tall at the top. Doing really well. Just have 10 seconds to go. And then we're overhead pressing, okay? Almost there. Probably time for one more. And there's time. Cool. Keep the weights in your hands. Bring them up to your shoulders. And we're just going to be pushing overhead. Ready? And begin. And then back to the shoulders. So push and down. If you can, try and exhale as you press. Got a reasonable amount of time on the clock for these. If they get really challenging towards the left end, you can use your legs to help. But to begin with, just try and get your shoulders doing the work. 
Doing well. We're nicely halfway through now. Again, the shoulder muscles that we're using here are much smaller than the big muscles in our legs that we use to deadlift. So if you're feeling this one a bit more, that's okay. Keep it moving and keep working hard. Just have 15 seconds left to go, so we're three quarters of the way in. Probably got time for two or three more reps. So let's get those done, and then we'll be squatting. And there's time. Keep your weights for your squats. Bring them together, or use one, or use none, whatever's right for you. And we're gonna start on our squats. Three, two, one, begin. So really nice wide knees. Keep your heels planted and we want to be staying relatively upright. Whew. Hopefully working hard by now. A couple of minutes into our exercise proper. Whew. We'll see how we're doing. We are just coming up towards halfway through our squats. So we've got plenty of time left to go. Plenty of time left to go. Shouldn't be too easy this. Drive those knees wide. Get as low as you can as long as your knees stay out, your heels stay down, and you stay relatively tall and upright. 15 seconds, so we're almost there. It's gonna be getting a little bit more challenging now. A few more to go, and then we have our lateral raises, and there's time. So you want your weights by your sides, and we're just picking them up to our sides. Small bend in the elbows and begin. Go ahead. These ones are going to get hard, so we're not doing them for quite as long. We're going to go for 45 seconds, which is still going to be a good period of time on these exercises. Shoulders are going to know that they're doing some work, which is no bad thing. <laughs> so keep them moving. If you want to, like me, you can take a second at the bottom of each rep. The more time you spend resting, the less work your body's going to do. So let's get out of it everything that we can, okay? Cool, we're actually not too far off now. Just a couple of seconds left, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, go for those last one or two reps, go for it, go for it. And rest. Nice, and then we're going over for our prone flies. So weights in front of you, hinge over at the hips. And begin. So split the weights apart and we're going for the same amount of time. So we have 45 seconds on the clock. Keep the weights really nice and close to your legs at the bottom. And then keep your chest out. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on each rep. We're doing well, we're over halfway through. Keep going. So think posture and squeeze those shoulders together. Keep moving here. Not too far off and we're gonna have a decent amount of rest. Got 10 seconds left from now, 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Almost there. Go for the last one, go, go, go. And rest. Woo. And let's actually take some rest. Have some water, cool your heart rate down, have a bit of breathing. And we'll take it nice and easy for a few. So hopefully that was reasonably challenging. That's one done, two to go. One done, two to go. Same exercises. They're gonna be for a tiny bit less time each round, but not much. So we should still get a pretty decent workout by the time we get to the end. We've got about 30 seconds until we begin. So it's deadlifts to start, overhead presses, squats, raises and flies. Plenty of work to do. If you haven't had any water, do so now because we've got 15 seconds left until we go. And we've got our deadlifts first. So time to pick your weights up. Ready, three, two, one, begin, let's go. So again, tiny bit less time on the clock. Drive those hips back and think posture up at the top. So really nice and tall, 
shoulders back, and squeeze your glutes up at the top. These are going just for a little bit less time, but again, same rules as always apply, which is go till I say. <laughs> We're nicely over halfway through now, nicely over halfway through. Let's keep it moving. Remember, after our deadlifts, we have our overhead presses, but keep thinking posture, hips back, and hinging your body over on these. 10 seconds remaining. 10 seconds, let's go. And rest. Cool, weights up to your shoulders, weights to shoulders, and two, one, begin. Breathe out and push. Nicely up to the top, and down. Doing well here. So remember, these muscles are a bit smaller. They're gonna feel it earlier, and that's okay. Keep breathing out and pushing. The faster you go through these, the more challenging it's gonna be. So make sure it's hard enough to get a good workout, but not too quick that you lose your technique. So technique wants to stay nice and strong. Doing really well, we've got 15 seconds left. So we're almost there. Keep those shoulders working hard. <sighs> Breathe out and push. Last couple of reps, go for those last couple. Go, go, go. And time. Squats up next. So I'm sticking with both of these weights. Make sure you're challenged. And begin, let's go, let's go. So nice wide knees, keep those heels down low. Heels staying planted, knees out. Remember, try and stay relatively upright. Don't want to lean forward too much. If you can really think about sitting into your hips, that will help. So try and deliberately sit your weight into your hips for these squats, okay? We are well over halfway through now. Doing good. Move these at the right pace for you. Again, nice wide knees, heels staying down. Squeeze your glutes up at the top of each rep. Very good. Almost there, go for these last rep or two. And time. Lateral raises up next. And again, they're for a little bit less time. Posture, small bend in the elbows. And begin, let's go. So we did these ones last time for 45, and we're going for 40. Just a little bit less time. The other exercises we did for a minute, and we've just done for 55. So it's only a little bit less, but we're doing nicely. Let's go. Cool, that's 25 seconds done. 20 left to go. Keep these weights moving up to the sides. Remember, small bend in the elbows. Posture all the way through. Almost there. Go for your last rep, go for your last rep. And rest. Cool. Hinge over at the hips for our prone flies next. Over we go. And begin. So keep thinking posture. The weights want to stay nice and close to your legs at the bottom. Don't need to lean out in front of you too much. And squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze shoulder blades together. 20 seconds done, 20 left. Then we've got a decent rest and we're going one more time. So we're not far off. Not far off. Squeeze shoulders. Got less than 10 seconds now. Let's finish it off, let's go. Last couple of reps, go, go, go. Finish them. And rest. Woo, cool. Good. Working hard? I hope so. Catch your breath. Have some water. So we're two out of three rounds done. Just got the one more left to go. The time is going to be very slightly less. So on the 
deadlifts, overhead presses and squats. We've done 60, 55 and we're now going to do 50 seconds. And on our lateral raises and our prone flies, we've done 45, 40. So we're now going to do 35. So it's just a little bit less time on each one. Um, yeah, not much at all. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Nice snappy workout. Again, this is your last round now. The quicker you go through each exercise, as in the more of them you get done in the allotted time, the more intense it's going to be. So if you feel like you really want to go for it on this last round, keep control of your exercise, but up your tempo. If you feel happy, you feel like you're doing everything perfectly for your ability, keep doing what you're doing. Don't necessarily need to make any changes. Are we ready to death? <clears throat> Bring your weights up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we've got 50 seconds on the clock. Decent amount of time. We want to hinge over through the hips. So drive your hips back and nice and tall at the top and squeeze your glutes. Again, the quicker you go through these, the more challenging it's going to be. So get the right intensity for you. Don't let your knees bow together and keep your heels nice and planted, okay? We're doing good. This is your last round, you're two out of three done. So let's push it a little bit on this last one, okay? Not too far off. 10 seconds left from now, so 10 seconds, let's go. After here, we're going straight into our overhead presses. Almost there. Go for your last rep, and rest. Weights up to the shoulders, breathe out and push, and two, one, let's go. Let's see how many of these we can get done this last time, okay? Push over the head, nice strong movement with those dumbbells. You want to get arms straight at the top of each rep. So really nice, strong, straight arms. And we are just over halfway through now. Keep them moving, okay? Breathe out and push. Remember, if it gets challenging, you can use your legs to help out. But don't forget, we've got squats next. Cool, 10 seconds. Push these last 10 seconds, go on. Keep moving. Breathe out and push. Go for your last rep, and time. Squats next. I'm sticking with both weights. See how you feel at home. Both, one, none, whatever's right for you. Ready, three, two, one, begin. Wide knees, heels down, up to the top. Wide knees, heels down, up to the top. Now we want to stay relatively upright on these. Move as efficiently as possible. Keep breathing all the way through these as well. It's a key one I haven't mentioned yet. <laughs> so if you've made it this far, you did keep breathing without thinking about it, well done. <laughs> but keep those going. So knees nice and wide. Stay relatively upright. Heels nice and planted. Doing good. Got 10 seconds left from now. So it's going to be two, three, four more reps. Go for them. Go for it, go for it. Almost there. Move for your last rep. Commit to it. Rest. <sighs> Lateral raises. So just 35 seconds leaves. Ready and begin. Up to the sides and down. Up to the sides and down. Small bend in the elbows just to take the stress off the joint. And let's go, let's rock these through, please. Cool, 15 seconds left. From here, we've got our reverse flies for the last little bit of hard work. So we're almost there, let's go. Last couple of seconds, go on. Push those last one or two reps, push them, push them, push them. And there's time. And we're going over to begin our prone flies. Three, two, one, begin. Let's go. 
So keep posture, the weights are nice and close to your legs in between each rep, and squeeze your shoulders. Really try and connect your brain to what's happening in the shoulder blades behind you. Squeeze them together. Should be getting tired because shoulders are doing plenty of work on this one. But we're nearly done, we're almost there. 10 seconds left to go. Let's push for these last 10 seconds, come on. Almost there. And rest. All right. Cool, that's three rounds through. Have some water and take it easy. If that wasn't challenging enough for you, <laughs> reverse the video by about four and a half minutes and feel free to go again. But for me, that's certainly enough. <laughs> take it easy, cool yourself down. We're gonna have a little stretch in a moment. And for our stretching, do a little bit of legs and a reasonable amount on your shoulders as well. Move your weight safely off to the side just so that you've got enough space to safely stretch, okay? You don't want to trip over your weights. Hopefully you won't, but move them out of the way to be on the safe side. What we're going to do first is we're going to interlock fingers and just stand tall and then push your arms away and think about stretching your shoulder blades that way so and hold that for a reasonable amount of time. Just really push your shoulders back. Sorry, push your shoulders forwards, I should say. And stand up tall. And we're gonna turn your hands the other way out, like so, so palms facing away from you. And same thing. Hands so, and then push those arms out, push those shoulders forward. And that's gonna get a decent stretch down your arms as well as down the shoulders. So really push those hands out, palms facing away from you. A few more seconds to hold that and get your shoulders nice and stretched. And relax. From there, we'll take one arm across you, like so, and then pull it right across your body like this. So we can get a pretty decent stretch on this. If you hold it kind of loosely, you won't feel anything. So really pull that stretch around and across. So this shoulder is what's being stretched out. A few seconds and gently relax. I'm going to do that one two times on each arm. So second arm for the first time, pulling across you, pulling and across. How are you feeling? Hopefully all right. Should be getting a nice little stretch after those shoulders, especially if I've done plenty of work. And gently relax. Back to the first arm for the second time. And go ahead, pull in and across. Get a good stretch out of that shoulder. The old high school stretches these days. Nothing wrong with that. And gently relax. And second arm, second time. Pull in and across like so. So get a really good firm pull on that arm and that's where we're going to get a good stretch <clears throat> through the shoulder. Don't just hold it loosely, really give it a good pull. And nice and gently relax. Cool, and then just a little bit of stretching for your legs as well. Nothing too complicated. Balance yourself on the wall, chair, table, whatever you've got around you. Pull one heel into your glute. And then we want to try and get your knees together and core muscles nice and strong so we can feel a stretch down the thigh muscles or the quadricep. We're just doing this one time on each side. So keep your core muscles nice and strong. Think about kind of like pushing your hips into the stretch. Push your hips into the stretch. Your knees are quite close together as well. And gently relax. And then let's turn it around and same thing on the other side. So again, use something to balance onto, I suggest. Take a hold of your foot, heel into your glute, knees nice and close, and then hips forward, core muscles really nice and strong here. So hold your tummy muscles in, don't you? Tummy push out, hold those muscles in nice and strong. Again, knees close, core muscles strong. You should feel a good stretch in that thigh. 
little bit more time left to go, a little bit longer. And gently relax. And then a nice gentle stretch for your hamstrings, which did quite a lot of work for the deadlift. So we're going to put one foot forwards, leg nice and straight on the front leg, then bend your knee on the back knee and just lean over. If you want to, you can reach down towards your foot, but you don't have to. We so we should feel a pretty decent stretch down the back of the straightened front leg. A little bit of time. And gently up. So swap legs, so one back and the other forwards. Straight front leg, bent back leg, and over we go through the hips again. Get a good stretch down the back of that front leg. Gonna hold that for a few more seconds. So keep leaning into that stretch, or leaning, hinging into the stretch, I should say. So think about pushing your hips back and hinging your body over. And relax. Cool. Good work at home. Hope you've worked hard and made it through to the end. Um, please do leave a comment down below because we'd love to hear your feedback on that workout, how hard you found things, um, and everything else that you want to see us do. We've noticed, like I said at the start, a lot of you have got a pair of weights at home. Is there any other equipment that you've got at home? Maybe you've got a kettlebell at home, you'd like to see a kettlebell workout. Um, maybe you've got a bar, maybe you've got anything. Let us know what you have at home if you want to see another workout, um, and we're here to help out. Well done, and until next time, eat well, Get out of your house <laughs> and don't go too crazy and I'll see you soon. See you later, thanks.